Hello, my name is Siavash Irani, a solutions architect here at AWS. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can secure your EC2 Windows instances by only allowing specific Windows users to utilize IAM roles associated with them. First, we want to talk about what are the IAM roles for Amazon EC2 instances and how they work. Then we talk about the issue and how we can resolve it. And then we get to our demo section. So what are the IAM roles for EC2 instances? Securely managing authentication credentials is one of the first challenges that developers will face when writing software that accesses AWS. All requests to the AWS must be cryptographically signed using credentials issued by AWS. For software that runs on Amazon EC2 instances, developers must store these credentials in a way that keeps them secure but also makes them accessible to the software which needs them in order to make requests. IAM roles for EC2 instances provides you with an effective way to manage credentials for AWS software running on EC2 instances. With IAM roles, you can develop software and deploy it into an EC2 instance without having to otherwise manage the credentials that software is using. The way it works is when you create an IAM role with specific permissions and associated with an EC2 instance, the system generates temporary credentials and makes the credentials accessible to the operating system that is running on EC2 instance through Instance Metadata Service, or IMDS. IMDS is basically an HTTP endpoint, which is accessible by IP address 169.254.169.254 .169 from the OS level and has different information about the EC2 instance, like EC2 instance ID, elastic IPs, security groups, and also the temporary credentials that is created with the IAM role. These credentials are temporary and are rotated automatically. When applications at OS level like AWS CLI, AWS Tools for PowerShell, or AWS Toolkits or SDKs try to make an API call, they automatically get the credentials from the EC2 instance metadata service and use them to make AWS API calls. So what is the issue here from Windows perspective? Let's assume that we have a Windows administrator user who requires to run different tasks at the OS level and also needs to make some AWS API calls from the EC2 instance using AWS CLI. In addition to the administrator user, we have a standard user who only needs to connect to the instance to do certain tasks only at the OS level without the ability to make any AWS APIs. The issue is, when the standard user connects to the instance, he or she can make a request to instance metadata service and get temporary credentials and from there make AWS API calls. To resolve the issue and to make the environment more secure, we can use built-in Windows Firewall to only allow the administrator user access the EC2 instance metadata service. In the demo section, I'm going to show you how this is done. For the demo, I've launched this EC2 instance, which has an IAM role attached to it. This IAM role allows the instance and applications on it to interact using administrator access with AWS APIs. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to this instance using two users. I have my administrator user uh, PowerShell console open on the right side and a uh, user one, which is just a standard user on this box on the left side. Let's see how IAM role works right now. If I go ahead and just type in get EC2 instance status as an example, uh, what's gonna happen is on this, you can see using the administrator account, it responds back and it gives me like the instance ID and instance summary. Uh, of course, because this is an this IAM role is an administrator, it can you know pretty much any command I run here it works. And on this user one also, if I run the same command or any other AWS API calls, it's going to work as well at this point, right? You can see on the user one it also it works. Now what I'm going to do here is to block access to instance metadata service to user one, so user one won't be able to run these commands. So 
from the admin console, what I'm going to do is to open wf.msc, which is basically Windows Firewall Microsoft uh, console. Uh, when I open this one, I'm going to create an outbound rule because I want to block traffic to my uh, instance metadata service. So I click on the new role and then uh, I, I select a custom rule. And here uh, I choose all programs, all ports. And here for the remote IP address, I'm going to add the metadata service IP address, which is 169.254.169. And I add it here. I click next. Uh, here I want to block the connection. Uh, so I choose that and hit next. And I give it a name, maybe uh, IMDS uh, traffic control. And I click finish. Now, what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to click on properties on this outbound rule. And then under local principles, I want to apply two things. One, it says only allow connection from these users. Really, the, the sentence here may not make sense. But what I'm going to do here is basically uh, this means which users, which local principles this rule should be applied to. So in here, I'm going to choose everyone. And the reason is. Uh, Usually, uh, when you want to block traffic, you want to make sure it's blocked for everyone and only allow it for users that really need it, right? That's security best practice. So for now, because I, I only want to allow this rule, uh, basically allow the traffic for my administrator user, I'm going to add the user here. So I'm going to type administrator. And re remember here, you can also add, you know, if it's an Active Directory, you know, it's always recommended, you know, to do it maybe based on uh, group membership. So here you could, uh, you know, I could add group names here if this, was, if this was, you know, part of AD, for example. And also another thing is important is uh, you probably want to add maybe uh, some built-in accounts like system. The reason I'm adding this, some AWS services uh, may use this. For example, EC2 launch or EC2 config, uh, they run a system account. Uh, so they may need to get access to the metadata service to do some stuff. So I want to add system here as well. I hit apply and OK. Now let's see what happens. On the, uh, on, on the left side, uh, if I go and run the same command, this time it's going to fail. And then for the admin account, still it's going to work. And that way I can control, you know, which users can use the uh, IAM role associated with the instance. I hope you found this informative. Thanks for watching.